In this episode we're going to look at installing the um, passenger outer wheel arch. Okay we're back onto the wheel arch. We had a couple of days off to be honest from some of this stuff and we've been um, doing other stuff which is a bit easier. So we're back on this and um, what we've got here is I've got a panel to go um, on the front wing here somewhere. Is that in shot? Yeah, I think so. so. We've got one panel to go in here. We've got an inner wheel arch um, to go in on the one that I had trouble with. I just got to work out what the, how that goes. We have an outer wheel arch to come over. So it looks like um, one of these will go in and then oh, will end up being cut up as the other one comes in. So I expect the outer wheel arch I'll put in first. Um, I'm not sure about this bit at the front here where it seems to really come away. This is the first time I'm trying to just hold it up. And right here it seems to really come up and away. I don't see what it looks like on the other side, but I don't think I have a wheel arch there either. So um, this comes in. Then I don't have, you can't get a part for here, so I'm going to have to fabricate um, this somehow um, to, to fix this bit at the front. And of course we've got the inner wheel arch as well to try to repair um, what had seemed like a really good job previously, but clearly had its, had its issues. So we've got that to go in as well. So um, so I think the plan here will be um, we start with the inner wheel arch. Oh sorry no and then once I've done that so once, once all of those bits are done we've got this patch here which needs doing and um, you can't see it that's up, up along here, the whole of this where it gets welded to the um, to the engine bay, um, all of that's rusted through as well. So we have to rust it, um, weld in a flange that effectively goes from the wheel arch along, up, and over, um, and then that will have to get welded in as well. So we've got um, quite a lot to do here. So I think we're probably talking about inner wheel arch being an episode, um, outer wheel arch and this bit back here maybe being an episode, and then the other two bits um, being an episode possibly later. Certainly this one might be later because I think to get this shape right what I might do is um, try to build it against the car I have up in Yorkshire um, uh, uh, using that as a template and then come back here and hopefully it would fit and I can cut it out. Um, I think that might be the, the best way of trying to build it. So um, yeah we've got quite a bit to do here so I think it might be a few episodes we'll see how we go. But what we're going to do is we'll start by taking this off and then we'll try and work out how we replace what we've got there um, with the new um, inner, inner wing. I've had the wing off trying to work out how to do the inner wing and then I decided to put it back on. So the issue I've got is I folded this back in the flange and you can see how it's coming along here. 
and gets caught and you know how badly it fits. So in order to um, really get it right I need to have some idea of where this goes and so um, and this is right now is catching at the bottom here so it doesn't go all the way in okay um, and obviously it's catching along the top so what I think I'm going to do is I think we're going to take the fender off again and we're going to cut basically all the way back around here and fundamentally take out everything I put in um, so that I have so that I can then put this back on have it fit up against it and then fit um, look at how the, um, the outer wing wheel arch looks and then I think we'll make decisions from there so I think the first step is going to be cutting this out Okay, I don't know how well I can film this, but we've got in here some pretty big gaps um, compared to necessarily where I would expect it to be. So it's fitting about there and it's coming apart somewhere. It's coming up. So it's fitting some of it and then it starts to come apart around the middle here um, and I'm not sure that it really comes back together so I'm trying to think about how to go about doing this so what I was trying to do is I didn't have the NSL in place this, this I know arch in place I'd taken that out I was holding the outer arch up and seeing where that failed, seeing where that failed on the inner arch that I'd done and I was then trimming the inner arch back and I kept doing that until I had a pretty decent fit of the outer arch. Having done that I took the fender off again I just fitted the inner arch inside and then fitted the fender back and the fender is only held with one bolt at the front and one bolt at the back so it's not quite in the right place I guess and I say that and then I've noticed just how far it's down so maybe I need to get a second or third bolt in just to get it lined up properly um, but what I'm seeing is um, big gaps as we've seen and so I'm trying to work out how to do this because if I weld the inner arch in in the wrong place I'm back to where I was before and so what I'm thinking about doing is actually welding in the outer arch first this time um, and get that so it looks nice or as close as I can get to looking nice and once that's in place fitting it up and trimming back the metal to get the out the inner arch in okay and what I'm thinking about doing is using this is a flange so I'll mark the metal around here I'll then aim to cut one centimeter inside okay um, and um, we will fit that underneath and do a lap weld wherever I can because I've got I mean obviously here towards the end that disappears um, uh, but it's there the whole way on this side so I'm thinking about doing the outer arch first um, but I haven't decided yet and I'm going to go away and have a little think about it and come back at it another day it's Saturday, the 4th of September. I didn't do anything yesterday um, because I was still not sure how to go about doing this. And right now I'm thinking I am going to do the outer 
wing arch, wheel arch first. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, clamp the wheel arch on. I'm gonna mark it out with pen. Um, I am going to grind down to the metal, sand down to the metal. I will then mark another li the line again, um, and then I'm going to come in the width of the flange on the arch and cut out there. We'll see if I change my mind as I go through. I've got this very loosely clamped in place just to hold it up. A little push for me gets it right there so I can mark it. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark it now. Okay and then we're also going to so that when I fit this again hopefully I fit it in the same place we're going to put some markers in place so what I'll do next is I'll take this back off I'm going to mark a line um, below where I've drawn and I'm going to cut here and I'm going to try to fit this on the inside of that um, and do a lap weld. I don't know how well I can demonstrate this but this fits quite nicely um, so I've just got it held on here in the right place and then if I pull it tight then we've got a nice flat connection here and it links up the whole way around. The problem is I can't get anything in there um, to clamp it together um, and if I can't clamp it together I can't weld it. Um, this, also, this piece here also needs cleaning first so I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to clean this piece um, but only one, oh, I might do these on, on the car actually, I can clean it, mark it. Um, so I'm going to clean, clean around those bits, I'll, I'll then take this part off and clean it. Um, I think then what I'll try to do is I'll try to get a couple of tack welds just to get it roughly in the right place on the car. Well no, to get it exactly in the right place on the car. Um, so we'll do a couple of welds, then we'll take it, the whole thing off and, well mind you if I can get a couple in, I might as well do the whole lot on there. What we'll do first is we'll clean up this and then we'll decide how we're going to go about it. But um, this approach is considerably better than the one on the other side. This looks like this is how it's meant to be done. Um, so I'm quite pleased so far with how this is going. We'll just now have to see if I can get my welds right. So I've cleaned it off and then I put a coat of weld through primer on there just on the edge which is going to be hidden under the lap weld um, and that, hence the taping off so that I can um, get a good weld on the rest of it but I just wanted to protect that bit of metal work which I won't be able to get at later so I'm going to leave that to dry for a little bit and be back out in a bit to do this. I don't have enough, what am I, I can't clamp this on with it on the car so I've given up trying and I don't really have enough clamps I and mean, these are the, this is the sum total of clamps I can get on here and um, because I haven't got enough that are big enough to go over this kind of gap. So um, so that what that's doing is I've got a pretty good fit where I've got the clamp um, but in between it's coming off a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do some welds either side. Okay, hopefully that will get it held in place. We're then going to, we won't move the clamps at the end because they're no good to me elsewhere, but we're going to then move the other clamps halfway between each of the gaps 
do either side there. Um, and we'll do that until I think it's holding. Um, and what I'm trying to decide is if I... Do I... Um, finish the welding on the car? Or do I just get it done? Well, we're going to start by doing that and then we'll see. I decided to do it all up here on the bench. Um, I got it all lined up, I felt right. If that needs grinding down now, um, which I haven't decided if I'm going to do on the bench or on the car. But right now, I feel like that is going to be good and look good and fit well. And so before I disillusion myself by trying it, I'm going to go and have some lunch. Right, that's it, bolted on with a couple of bolts at the front and one at the back. And that I'm pretty pleased with, I wound it down. Um, I need to, if you, if you look at some of this grinding, it is, it, it, there's, uh, there's a little bit of a bump here, but it, it's pretty flat, but it is going to need a bit of filler still just to, to get it really there and I'll use um, fiberglass filler just in case there was any hole. Um, the the bottoms on both sides need to just push in a bit but that's okay um, because they will. So um, I feel like um, I've actually done a decent job on this one. Uh, it looks right, it looks good. Um, so I'm going to go and well be pleased with myself for a while. That's given me the confidence now to, um, I think, I mean there's quite a lot to do on this front panel. There's the, the back patch and then um, I'm going to have to look at this bit of the front as well. So I've got a patch for the back but I'm going to have to work out how to make a piece for this and you know you can see how rusty a lot of this is anyway so we're going to have to clean that up. So, um, but I think I think the next thing will be actually to get the inner arch done. Oh, and sorry, the other bit that needs to do in is obviously this, the, um, the flange in here so that we can weld it all up. So I actually need to work out um, how that was done in the first place, because um, I'm not quite sure. So there's a lot to do on this, this panel still, um, but I'm really pleased with what we've got here. So uh, we're going to move on to the inner wheel arch now and to try to repair the shape that I have in there now that I know what it should be like on the outside.